Alright. Welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Marie. And I'm Timus. And welcome to MNT Travel. What's going on, y'all? So today we wanted to talk about perfect day at Coco K. I thought we had a pretty perfect day. Yes, we did. It was our first stop on the last cruise we went on. Yep. Um, first things first, is it worth it? Eh. Yes, I thought absolutely. I think it's absolutely worth it to go, to spend money on excursions so. though. Not worth it. Nah, nah, not going to be able to do it. All right, again, Wait. we don't want to waste your time. Just want to get into it. Let y'all know what this video is about. Um, so tell them about the beach. Like, What do you like about the beach, first and foremost? Oh, okay, so we got there pretty early and we brought our own snorkel stuff that we purchased at Costco because we don't want to rent equipment and use used equipment with mouthpieces and all that. It's just not for us, especially during COVID times. So we brought our own snorkel equipment and wanted to get out as early as possible so we could see the most fish. Uh, in our pre-cruise research, I noticed that a lot of the fish are gone like before 10 a.m. because people get out there and scare them all away. So um, we wanted to get out pretty much when they opened up the, the gangway. So we left the ship, what, 8.30? Yeah. Or yeah, 9? About, yeah, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. We got off the boat and then we chose to walk down the pier instead of taking the tram. Uh, and it was not that bad. It was a good walk, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, it's covered and shaded. Uh, and then, you know, it was the morning, so it wasn't too hot. Uh, once you got to the end, to the actual island, you could see the dancers. They were nice. Everything was looking good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, like, it was It was really nice getting onto the island. Oh, not the dancers. I'm talking about just the <laughs> island. Just the, uh, just the island. Like, when you get on the island, it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's like nice. you see it from the ship. You see the whole. You can like mm -hmm. see the entire island from mm -hmm. the ship, and you're like, okay, it looks okay. You get on the island, you're like, this is nice. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Everything is beautiful. They have all types of tropical plants, and everything is sandy, and it's raked, and it's it's just beautiful. Everything, like every corner that you look, has something beautiful to look at. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's really beautiful. Like I said, get out there early. Grab a seat early. Are there enough chairs for everybody? Yes. Are there enough nice chairs for everybody, though? No. So if you want a view of the ocean and not the view of somebody behind somebody behind somebody, get there early. Get your seat. Get in the water early. No, it's not cold. You just have that initial shock when you get into the water. But then after that, it's beautiful in that water. I mean, that water is great. Um, yeah, we went first week of May. So the water wasn't cold, but it was colder than you would expect for being uh -huh. in the Bahamas. And again, it was it was great. Um, tip about the snorkeling gear. At Costco, that snorkeling gear was $35 a person. Uh, I believe the rental on the island is $35. For the day. For the day. So. And it's used equipment. It's used equipment. Yuck. It's sanitized, probably. Um, Still me, yuck. More like opinion. it's sanitized. <laughs> but it's $35 there. That's $35 in Nassau. That's $35 at the. Um, at Labadee or wh wherever you go. So that'll be $35 every stop. Or you can pay $35 one time. Use it when you go wherever else you want to go on top of that. You always have it when you get back. If you're going on to the cruise, you can do it again. Like, it's just, like I said, it was so in inexpensive for what, what it was. Great quality. I mean, we we were out there. I felt great using it. Uh, the fins worked perfectly. It was, it's some great gear. So, Costco tip, go get those snorkels. Mm -hmm. We'll put those down in the, in the description below so y'all can uh, f figure those out. Um, after that, the food was an interesting option there. So, um, when you leave the gangway in the morning, there'll be people offering you water and Red Bull. If you don't have the drink package, it does come at cost, so it will be billed to your room. If you do have the drink package, it's included. You can just get that when, when you get off. Um, the liquor is there from the jump. Drinks are available from the jump. Yeah, so we, we, were, we walked right to the beach. Uh, where did we go? Chill Beach? Yeah. It's called Chill Beach or something like that. 
uh, it's the relaxed laid back beach. Uh, so we went there, we found our seat right up front. So when you get to the beach, they have these lockers there. These lockers are free, but you gotta get there ahead of time to get them. There's not a lot of them. No, very limited number of lockers. But we were expecting to be charged because in another video that we saw, someone said they had to pay for them. It was free. We walked right up and put our stuff in. We asked mm -hmm. the, the guy at the counter. He's like, no, it's free. Free 99, um, yo. Yeah. Some of the lockers we could not get open. So these lockers, like you make your own code uh -huh. and then you have to swipe it, I guess, by the end of the day. Like they're not electric they're like mechanical locks mm -hmm. so if you don't reset it it's just locked so there were some permanently locked lockers uh so there's even even less availability absolutely um, if you see those though just go to the guy on the front ask him for the key he reset those mm -hmm. for y'all and then that's your locker so mm -hmm. if someone's like oh this one doesn't work know that little helpful tip just go to the guy be like hey this one's permanently locked they'll come with the key Reset it, then bam, you got that locker now. And they're big lockers. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, we fit our snorkel gear in them, bags, along with our pool gear, bags as well. Clothes, uh -huh. shoes, water bottles. Put everything in there. Yeah, everything went, went, went into those bags. It was, like I said, it was free. Just got to get there early for those. And immediately, there's staff walking by. Hey, hey, want any drinks? Like, do you need anything? Like, uh -huh. immediate service. Immediate service. Immediate service. But the food, though, the food does not come out till around 11. So there's no me no food option for a couple of hours if you leave early in the day. This is a heads up. So you might want to make sure you eat breakfast that morning, get a couple snacks. But there won't be any food options until they open up that kitchen on there. So just be just be aware of that if you have blood sugar levels need to monitor things of that nature no it won't be a food option until 11. we got in the water and uh we were like the first people in the water and it was kind of scary we'd never used our equipment before we'd never been to the island before we didn't we've never snorkeled before well i've snorkeled before but it was years ago have you mm -hmm. snorkeled before yeah I've snorkeled before. yeah so it, it we needed to get used to our equipment it was our first time using it uh so we kind of hung out in the shallow area for a little while then we swam out. Uh, the way that the beach is there, there are barriers that come out on the sides that stop the big waves from reaching you. So there's a nice calm swimming area. Um, if you want to go past that, you can. Uh, uh -huh. And there's little platforms that you can swim to. Um, they're, they're pretty far out. So we were thinking, oh yeah, like we're just gonna swim out to the platform at first. No, 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 it was so far. So we were just sticking to the shallow area out. Awesome. Lots of really pretty fish, yeah. like coral reef fish. Nice. And they were all kinds of sizes. They ranged from like, I don't know, one inch little teeny minnows to, yeah. what was the biggest fish I saw? It was under the platform when we later swam out. Yeah, she saw a big fish It was there. big. It was so. a couple feet big. So that's, that, that's cool. They also do have a artificial reef that was put in there. It's not huge, uh, so, um, you gonna get some people that's gonna sell you on that reef talk about you know they got this big it, it's it's like 15 feet big that's okay but like you ain't swimming in no like australian great barrier reef no. gotta let y'all know that like, it's like it little, was enough to attract some some good yeah, fish yeah, yeah, though yeah, yeah. It's okay. there's a, a little few of them out there few planted there. shipwreck um that you can swim out to which is very far it's mm -hmm. by the the far platform um so yeah, we snorkeled around a little bit and then we came back, hung out on the beach, kind of got back in and out of the water as we felt like it. Yeah. And then what'd we do? So we had the food. The food was superior for where it comes from. So the food on Coco K is ship food, but it's not ship food in a bad way. It actually tastes really good. Um, you had the tacos, right? I had the tacos. They have the build your own tacos. They got three or four different meats and then a big topping bar. I really enjoyed the lunch. And I don't know if it's from all that swimming or being on the beach or what, but I thought lunch was bomb. I enjoyed all of it. Um, they also had the- just okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was okay. They, they, they had the snack shack as well. You can get the chicken sandwich that's bomb with the mozzarella sticks on it. That's superb, that's an option. Uh, you do have to walk up to that one. So it doesn't, you, it's not like a buffet side, it's like a, order a takeout place but make, make make sure you go there i don't think those the snack shack is included 
Ah, or yeah. maybe there's certain items that are in certain items. Correct, that are. correct. We gotta check that for y'all. We we'll get we we'll get to y'all we'll on, on that one. But um, uh, and then afterwards we had a lot of water, y'all. It is hot out there. Drink your water. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's not unbearable. It's just when you're swimming in the salt water, and then it's hot. All you're doing is spending water on top of water on top of water out of your system. Make sure y'all hydrate. They have drink stations everywhere. They have water stations everywhere with the ice. Make sure you hydrate. Especially with all those Coco Locos. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Coco Loco is the signature drink of Coco Key. It's really good. It, I don't it, even know what it. It's like coconut, tropical, it's bomb. slushy. Yeah, it's like it's a really Malibu good. with something else in it. It's bomb. Uh, and we had probably four or five a piece over at the pool. Yeah. Now this pool, y'all, is like the pool of all pools here. All right, like this is a nice, and I believe it gets to around four and a half. Maybe it might you got the five feet deep, but it's just beautiful water in there. Swim up bar, lots of seats, DJ spinning, lounge chairs are out. They got the water chairs, chairs are partially in the water, mm -hmm. and there's space, y'all. Mm -hmm. They make sure when they made this, they wanted to make sure they could basically hold the ship. And that's the thing I like about Coco. Okay, everywhere you go, there's always space. Like it, it never feels like you're just crowded in one area, or, the, or this is like so exclusive that no one can enjoy it. Everywhere we went on the island, it just felt like there was space. And our ship was around 90% capacity, so like it, it really felt good just having that space out there, being able to drink our drinks, order our drinks whenever we wanted to. Wait staff was amazing. I mean, the pool party was excellent. Like I said they were spending the tunes. It was, it was magical. We probably spent I don't know, three, four hours at that pool, would you say? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. After lunch, we had our pool party. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it was really nice. There's tropical flowers and plants by the pool. There's areas of shade or you can be in the sun. Um, like time has said, there's chairs. There's like lounge chairs in the water. There's also bar stools at the swim up bar. So you can sit at a bar stool in the pool. Uh, which I thought was really cool. We spent uh -huh. a lot of time right there just because it was in the shade and nice. You get like immediate service and it was just great. Absolutely. I loved it. Nah, I love I love Coco K. Now, those of you love it, we got to tell y'all what's not worth it there. All right. First thing that's not worth it, that damn water park. Well, if you have kids, it's probably worth it. But Even with your kids, it's so much yeah. open ocean out there and everything. And let me tell y'all why it's not worth it. Cause how much was it the person? Ninety something dollars. You looking and at around a hundred dollars after fees, one hundred and five dollars per, per person. person. Per if you have kids, per kid. Yes. Plus yourself. And that's why it's not worth it. We talking about. And it's what seven or eight slides. Yeah, yeah. And then like the kids splash area. Uh -huh. Like there's not that many slides. Now there is like a really tall slides, and it looks really cool. But, it's but just I not just worth think it. like ten dollars to go down a slide per slide. I'm like. I don't think it's worth it in my uh -huh. opinion um other people might really like it depends like, on what you want like i said it depends on what you want i just don't think it's worth it it's a cash grab i get it if they lowered it down maybe 40 50 a person i think that's where you can start getting to some reasonable numbers we're like yeah you want to spend a day at the water park i see that's pretty cool but i mean just the ocean itself is so beautiful i don't know why you want to go to a water park in the middle of such a beautiful ocean um, there were free water slides on the ship. Like, so yeah. I, I took advantage of those versus paying extra money exactly. to the so same if, water slides. If you want to ride a water slide that bad, it's yeah. the free <laughs> one on the ship. I was saying, it's just like, I just don't know how to make that make sense. It's, if you want to ride a water slide, there's free water slides on the ship. If you want to go swimming, there's pools and there's a whole ocean that's clear water mm -hmm. right there. Most pristine water you, you, you'll ever see is right there. And... It just felt like a cash grab. Like it didn't. It didn't feel like a necessity. It didn't feel like we missed out on anything. And like we looked at it, it was like, that's that's it. And you now, got one hundred and seven dollars for the that. The thing that I thought was the biggest cash grab was probably those cabanas. Yes. Cabanas and day beds. Oh my gosh! All right. We just saw the prices. I was like, why would someone pay that? I'm sure you know if you have the money to spend. If you got do it. it. Cause I'm sure that's great for you, there you but go. for the a regular, regular regular person, 
don't do it absolutely you don't need it everyone gets nice seats that you can lay all the way down and lay uh -huh. down everyone gets umbrellas with shade everyone gets tables uh -huh. you can put your drinks on and off. the beds are right next to the regular chairs so you don't get like a different view or anything is still right there yeah i mean if you got it it's on the same you beach. got it bro like that's it but it's not i just thought the the amount that they charge for those is ridiculous i'm sure they're nice but the the price tag that royal caribbean puts on it i don't think is worth it yeah uh i believe for those day beds they were charging close to what 300 yeah three 350 for the day and then those cabanas, it was almost, it was like 800. No, no, you got that wrong. The cabanas are like 2100. Yeah. A person. They're really expensive. Excuse me, I said the person, but uh, total for the day, 2100 for the day. Now, though, maybe if you have, what is it? I can't remember the person limit because we weren't getting a cabana, yeah. but maybe if you, I think it's 10 people maybe. Yeah. Like, and then if you have 10 people and then you all split it, maybe you could maybe that would be worth it i don't know like it's it might be then you have your own little private party area but even then you us, got chairs right there us. for this okay? I, yeah. like, like you got chairs right there i don't know why she's trying to make these excuses like well because that's what some people it's do it's bad money group together it's even if you get a group together it's just bad money like i don't know why y'all spending your money like that it's just bad money after bad money like to spend that money on, on, on that water port that's crazy bro like there's so many other things you could do with they that, have especially amazing like free things like on coco key is what we're trying to say it's amazing you don't free. need to upgrade everyone's gonna pressure you to upgrade you don't need to upgrade to have an amazing there's no day. rationale to spend that money like there's no rationale to spend that money it's it's ridiculous like please don't spend that money if you want to spend your money on something that stupid by all means go gamble go gamble bro. Like, i've never told anybody to go gamble but that's how much of a waste of money it is to spend your money on those cabanas and that water park i would tell you you should go gamble before you do that at least you got a chance to get in the back like it is just a straight up cash grab if i've ever seen one now there is one small thing i think y'all should pay for and that is the jet ski tour the price of the jet ski tour for what it is is not bad they had that jet ski tour if you got it beforehand it was 87 dollars uh per driver and i think it was 30 dollars per a passenger you can have up to two people per jet ski that right there which for an hour and a half tour you get to be the driver like i said the price was pretty economical for what it was um honestly it was actually pretty low for what it was uh i looked at a jet a jet ski tour in new york and it was like 550 for like two hours mm -hmm. so it's like so so i thought I, I thought that was worth it. i thought it was a good amount of money there you could uh you it could was sold money. out yeah so everyone else thought it was worth it too i guess uh we'll be getting it for our upcoming cruise in august uh -huh. when we go back to coco key uh, we'll have another experience to talk about with you guys. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll make sure we go on that. But yo, cabanas and water parks, two of the craziest things you can spend your money on. In my opinion, like I said, I could be wrong out right here. I just, I just don't see it, bro. Drop a comment down below if you disagree. Tell us why they're worth it. And if you agree, convince me. Tell convince us why us. it's worth it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you agree, tell us why it's not worth it as well. Excuse me, because like we gotta know. Also that money for that water park and for that cabana guess what you could do with that you can get a suite you can get a balcony you can put that money in so many other places i was saying like just look at the trip in its totality and that's where i think work geez i'm dropping stuff all over the place that's where Royal work ribbon can get you a little bit because they have these nick big places where you could spend so much money and i'm like whoa for the amount you're spending there you can enjoy a better ship life mm -hmm. than on the shore for the little Eight hours you're gonna get on there. I could be wrong. But I'm not. But I could be. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, other than that, man, it was nice. Then at the end of the day, we were so tired and so pooped out. We went and got the tram back to the boat. And that was the nicest trip. Oh, yeah. That was, that was nice. the nicest trip we had. Oh, one other thing that we forgot to talk about. Oh, what is that? The, my little jellyfish sting. Oh yeah, let's talk so, about that. <laughs> oh, we were snorkeling. I got a little some teeny, it was a very small jellyfish sting. I never yeah. even saw the jellyfish. It was like 
this big on my hand it was like right here um and it just started stinging a little bit and i looked at it and I'm like is that a jellyfish sting yeah and i guess it was because later on in the day like after lunch we heard this other guy got like this really big jellyfish sting like all over his thigh so i guess there were jellyfish there but for me i just had this little teeny one so i just went to the uh the little well, Went to the first, first aid, aid yeah. to get it checked out, make sure I'd, I'd never gotten a jellyfish thing before. I didn't know what I needed to do. Um, so I went to the first aid station and everything, they didn't charge me for anything. Uh, they just said, come on in. It took 30 seconds. They put some like anti-sting cream and a little band-aid said, leave it for 30 minutes and then you're good to go. I was good to go. It was gone by the evening. Mm -hmm. I do think that's good to be known that while on the ship, don't be afraid to use first aid in the areas that you need it like for instance when we were at coco k the first aid is included up to an extent meaning they won't charge you for minor scrapes and scratches and bruises stuff like that anything else though will have a charge and it will be significant though mm -hmm. so like yeah a jellyfish thing mild scrape like we said hey uh get cut on coral yeah glass, you get cut on coral or anything, or anything like stuff like that they got you all good now if you get a gas from the glass Yo, yeah, travel know. insurance. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Y'all well, know what that means. It means cut the check. Okay, okay, okay. For the, can they comment for that check? But like I said, like a little scrape, ass scratch, they got you. Uh, at the end of the day, it's still a business and they want you to enjoy yourselves because that's how they make their money. So they'll give you a Band-Aid. I know we've heard the horror stories of $10 a Band-Aid and all that. I think that's those great. days, yeah, those days have gone. Uh, it was just bad business and I think they recognize that but um it was it was cool to see that happen she was in and out in like maybe a minute or two um and that was a perfect day at coco okay i mean it was amazing like I said pool was great snorkeling early in the morning make sure you get out to go see those fish then go ahead to get some food then go to the pool get you some coco locos and just enjoy your day most of all just don't don't fret don't sweat just enjoy the day it is such a beautiful place all right like that was coco k was our first day i want to say wasn't it it was the very first yeah. day i felt like i could have spent my entire vacation on yeah. coco key yeah. i loved it like they really set it up so you just started relaxing as soon as the trip started and i think it's the best way to start a trip i think it's the greatest way to end the trip our next trip will be ending in Coco K, so I can't wait to try that. See how that's different. Like I said we'll be on the jet skis then. But yo, thank you very much for being here. And if we haven't yet, y'all might gotta make sure y'all subscribe, 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 okay? <laughs> Alright, alright man. We trying to get the smack down here, bro. Subscribe, man. We trying to get up to ten thousand followers by the end of the year. Currently we are at eight of them things. <laughs> <laughs> and that is okay because we're on the way up baby because we started at zero so to all eight of y'all thank y'all so much we salute y'all we love y'all for that make sure y'all like and subscribe remember leave down in the comment section below if y'all find those things worth it or not so let us know y'all we love y'all we'll see y'all in the next one peace yay, yay. I wear sunscreen! <laughs>